Hi, I'm Sam from Elementary Technology. We are here today in our customer experience center in Leeds. Um, obviously, given the current situation, um, we are looking to help teachers do remote learning um, as much as possible. It's really essential that we can do this and we can use in some really simple and effective pieces of equipment for teaching and learning. I'm just going to show you today with Microsoft Teams and Skype how you can use a visualizer to be able to show documents underneath and we're going to use Smart Online to show how we can screen share as well. Um, I'm going to be doing it with my colleague Amy and we will crack on. Okay, so first off, we're going to be looking at using Microsoft Teams, um, which is really easy to use. I'm just going to be calling my colleague Amy. We're going to use a bit of a scenario here where I'm a teacher remotely, and Amy is one of my pupils. Um, okay, so we're just going to log in. Okay, so we can see Amy on our screen there. Um, obviously, we can converse as normal. We can discuss, you know, lesson plans, objectives, etc. Um, now, a really simple thing is with um, an Ava visualizer, which is plugged in direct to your laptop, um, your Windows 10 will recognize as this straight away and you can swap in between so as you can see here if I press this swap button um, it will come up with my face in the corner so I can speak to Amy as normal and um, we've muted it obviously because we are quite close but you know we this is where we could be discussing um, different le different lesson segments etc and um, if I wanted to put some literature under the visualizer we can just press simply press the switch camera button it will take two or three seconds and Amy won't be able to see me anymore she'll be able to see whatever is under the visualizer now this is absolutely brilliant because you don't have to be holding it up you don't have to be wobbling around and explaining we can leave it under the visualizer we can turn the page when needed and we can go through simple simple pieces of work all the time um, now lastly which is a really really good tool if you're a smart user we can use smart online and um, again this is ideal for when you're working remotely we just have to press screen share here and we can click into our browser which has got our pre-prepared classroom literature, sorry, literature ready already. Um, and a, this will be reflected on Amy's laptop as well. Now we'll go and show you this as an example in a couple of seconds, but I just wanted to show you here that we've still got Amy in the corner. She now doesn't have the visualizer. She has this screen instead, which is ours shared. So again, we could be going through any different bits of lessons from STEM to English, um, history, any sort of MFL work, etc. cetera. Um, obviously given the current, current scenario, this is going to be crucial. Now what we're gonna do is we're just going to go to Amy's computer and show you how it's reflected on there. Okay, so now we're going to look at it from Amy's perspective. Um, uh, as you can see Amy's computer, you can see me on the screen. Um, this is obviously a one-on-one -on -one interaction like you would do with Teams or Skype. You can converse as normal, um, discuss any lessons, any objectives you want to cover. Um, now, like we did last time, we're just going to press this camera switch button in the corner um, from the teacher's point of view which will then change to the visualizer. Now, as you can see, we can put any, we can display any text under here, any piece of um, teaching literacy that you need. Um, we can zoom here, we've got a light as well if we need to light up, we can autofocus. Let me just find the button there. Yep, we can autofocus there. Or we can even take a picture as well, which will then save um, onto our cloud. Um, this is live as well, so we can turn pages, and we can change into different bits of, um, of text or even different, different books, etc. Um, and lastly, we wanted to show the screen share, so I'm going to press this share button here. And we're going to use Smart Learning Suite online, which me as a teacher, if I were to use, I would be able to create teaching content um, online, which I could then share with Amy. And this is reflected onto her screen now. Um, and we can go through this very simply. So I can go for each different page, um, each different slide. And again, you can still have access to audio. Um, and it's going to give us a really engaging lesson from one even from your own living room to somebody else's living room, which is going to be really useful given the current environment. If I just press off screen share, it will go back and we can switch the camera back. And we again, we can discuss face to face. So that's it covering Microsoft Teams. I'm just going to show you a little bit on Skype now. Okay, so I've just booted up Skype and I'm going to show you how you can use a visualizer tied in with Skype remotely, which is really simple. Um, obviously, you can either do Meet Now or you can do New Chat. I'm just going to press Start Call here. Um, we are just going to do this on our own as if we were doing it to a group session. So if we press Start Call, you can invite whoever. This can be as many as you want. You could be doing it to you know, three or four different pupils and we could be covering um, some English literature. Um, so. We can just simply go down to more in the corner. You can see my image there, which will be reflected. Um, if we just press more and audio and visual settings, we can change this little one here from the webcam, which is on the laptop, to the visualizer here. 
Um, and then, let's just start to focus that. Oh, sorry, the black. The background. Okay, we're going to get rid of the blurred background now. As you can see, we have the visualizer image here, which is going to be reflected onto their screen. Um, now, the good thing about the M1713M is it comes with buttons based on the visualizer, so you can do different bits of increments on zoom, etc. I'll cover them very quickly. Um, so this will now show the visualizer, as you can see. Um, now we can zoom in here using the button here, we can autofocus, we can zoom out as well. Now we've got a lamp as well if we wanted to light objects up etc. We can turn the lamp off very quickly. We have a freeze button here which is really useful. If I just do that, you can see it's frozen. All I have to do is unfreeze it again to press stop. You know, we can turn pages as needed. This will cover A3 and if you really wanted you can use an SD card into the visualizer which will then save directly. Um, so again, if we just go more and audio videos or settings and then we can go back here to the webcam. So it's really that simple. Um, we've had quite a lot of inquiries recently about this and how it works. We just wanted to get a video out there to explain that you can do it and it's highly beneficial for you when you're doing your remote learning. Um, it just saves you a lot of time and a lot of effort. You can have literature, obviously with the teams you can share the display. You can't necessarily do it with the Skype option, but still you can use a visualizer with Skype, which is gonna be really, really useful. And um, please contact us if you'd like to know some more information. We'd be happy to help, especially given the current situation. We're all about giving as much resource as we can to you guys and um, to help you teach remotely. Thank you very much.